Parliament convened this afternoon at Kololo Ceremonial Grounds to officially receive the 52.7 trillion shillings budget passed by MPs in mid-May. In break from tradition, the Vice President Jessica Lupo took the salute on arrival from the parade mounted by the police. She was doing this on behalf of President Museveni, who attended virtually, having tested positive for COVID-19. Anita Mo, the Speaker of Parliament, commenced the session with an expression of concern about the stagnation of the local government budgets at 11% for over a decade. The local government is insufficient to adequately stimulate the desired growth envisaged under the fiscal decentralization strategy. Moments later, the finance minister took to the podium to deliver the 52.7 trillion shillings budget. Among the highlights, Minister Kasaija explained that 22 billion shillings has been provided in the budget to clear the areas for medical interns and house officers for the financial ended. He added that the standard gauge railway construction will commence in the course of the financial year with 535 billion allocated in the budget. Some 2.2 trillion shillings loan has been secured for infrastructure improvement in the Greater Kampala metropolitan area. And he ruled out purchase of vehicles for government entities in the course of the financial year. We have reduced consumptive expenditure. During the next financial year, there will be no purchase of new vehicles for political leaders and public officers except for hospital ambulances, medical supplies and distribution, agricultural extension services. The 52.7 trillion shillings budget for 2023-24 is a jump by 4.6 trillion up from the 48.1 trillion allocated in the running financial year. The government plans to generate the majority 29.6 trillion shillings, representing 56% of the budget, from domestic tax and non-tax revenue. Domestic debt refinancing 8.3 trillion, external refinancing 8.2 trillion, domestic borrowing 3.3 trillion shillings, grants and loans or budget support 2.7 trillion, and local government revenue generation 287 billion shillings. Of this revenue, human capital development, which involves health, education and water sectors, is allocated a lion's share of the budget amounting 9.5 trillion shillings, equivalent to 18%. It is followed by unallocated 7.5 trillion for governance and security, integrated transport services 4.4 trillion, private sector development 1.8 trillion, and agro-industrialization 1.7 trillion, equivalent to 3.3 percent. Some of the new tax measures to raise the budget is expected to come from the 18 percent VAT on diapers, slapped a 10 percent social media tax on the providers of the services like Facebook, Twitter, Google, or Netflix. 75 shillings per litre of bottled water and gaming activities 30 percent. Next financial priority has been placed on improving tax administration, including use of ICT to fight tax evasion and rationalizing tax exemptions to improve their effectiveness and reduce revenue leakage. However, with the continued borrowing, the country's debt is projected to jump to 89 trillion by June 30, 2023. The economy is projected to grow by 6.5% next financial year, inflation to reduce to 5% single digit, while the GDP will expand to 206 trillion, up from 185 trillion. Jackson Onyango, NTV, at Kololo Ceremonial Grounds.